Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Joseph Winter, along with Ethan and Daniel. NBA Finals will have a different feel this year. Missing is the NBA from 2007 to 2020 of one of the three NBA superstars, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, or Steph Curry, or participants in the championship round, but not this year. Also missing are some of the league's most predominant franchises, the Lakers, Warriors, Celtics, Bulls, and Heat. It's a strange year for a league that loves a brand name, but it's also a perfect time for new stars and new franchises to emerge as the game of best. One area of focus for NBA teams this offseason is how they manage player health. During with the coronavirus was the league's top priority this season, but players were also sidelined at a much higher rate with non-COVID illnesses. This year's All-Stars missed 19% of games, the highest percentage in a season in NBA history, according to Elias Sports Bureau. Denver Nuggets coach Michael Malone put it best, saying, quote, this has been the hardest year in my 20 years in the NBA. It's the mental toll, the physical toll, and the emotional toll. Shortly after winning his seventh Super Bowl ring in February, Tom Brady underwent surgery on his left knee, but the 43-year-old will still be ready to go, to go when he starts his 22nd season on September 9th. When the Buccaneers face the Cowboys, Tampa will try to become the first team to repeat as Super Bowl champions since the 2003 to 2004 New England Patriots. Brady says teams will be approaching the Bucs differently this season and that the Bucs are the team everyone will be watching. In a year when no, when no candidates were elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame, Cooper's town was still holding a shrine ceremony honoring the class of 2020. The outdoor introduction ceremony will be held Wednesday, September 8th, with a limited number of tickets available to fans. Class headliners, former Yankee great Derek Jeter, also being in, inducted into the Hall of Fame, Larry Walker, Ted Simmons, and former executive director of the MLB Players Association, Marvin Miller. The most famous soccer player in the world, Barcelona forward Lionel Messi, has expressed a desire to play in the United States in the final years of his career. With his contract expiring this summer, the 33-year-old Messi has reportedly been courted by the Major League Soccer's Inter-Miami, where Former superstars David Beckham is co-owner. Messi has been associated with Barcelona for 20 years, but he recently purchased a $7 million condo in Miami. It would be an interesting fall in South Florida. That's it for a busy day in sports. For my co-anchors Ethan and Daniel, I'm JoJo. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting.